Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And today we are going to do, well, today we're going to make fun of the legal requirements of uh, a, whiskey. Is it a bourbon or is it a whiskey? Yeah. This is Legion. Started bourbon. This is technically <laughs> a whiskey. Though all the advertising, all their website talks about how they're changing the game of bourbon. Well, it's not bourbon. Can't be bourbon because bourbon has a lot of very, very specific rules as to what. You can't it, finish it. Right. It can only touch charred new oak barrels. This is finished. So it started as Kentucky straight bourbon. It started as bean. Yeah, it's bean. It's bean. Yeah, it's just bean. Let's just tell them. Let's tell them the truth. <laughs> it's bean whiskey that then they took and finished in. Sherry casks, wine casks. They went the scotch route. It's exactly the scotch route, but uh, they're doing a little bit of a twist <clears throat> and they're, they went the Japan route. Mm -hmm. But if anybody knows anything about J Japanese whiskeys, it's, yeah, it's basically scotch. I mean, they, do, <laughs> they follow all the exact same processes and what they're doing. So it's Jim Beam. It is straight bourbon to start, mm -hmm. which means, and there's no age statement on there, so to be straight bourbon and have not age, have four an age years. statement, has to be four years. So it was at least four years old, and then, so, and it was selected by Fred No, so, you know, to the bookers, bookers and the little book nods. Then they brought in the master distiller from Centauri, Centauri. who owns Beam, and not going to do his name. <laughs> <laughs> he then selected the barrels that it was going to go into for the sherry cast, the Pedro Jimenez, and the different wine casts that they used, and blended it all together and put this bottle out. It's kind of a cool idea. You're taking it, it's a, <clears throat> definitely a nod to scotches. Like mm -hmm. how many scotches are finished in a sherry cast yep. or a wine cask of some sort? So it's definitely a nod to that. But and but starting with bourbon. Expecting it to be pretty sweet and fruity. Mm -hmm. I like the bottle though. It's kind of an interesting, <clears throat> different bottle for a beam. You know, mm -hmm. the, you know, the thick neck is, or the thick uh, collar. collar. Yeah. yeah, collar. It's a little crazy and gets a little drippy. <laughs> but outside of that, it is a, it's different. It's a unique bottle. Well, you can pick up the corn <clears throat> and the ethanol. Yeah. Other cool notes, the top of the cork says Kentucky, Japan. The bottom of the cork, just noticed that, says uh, two legends, one bourbon. Still no bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the attention to detail on that. That is... It's corn. I get a lot of corn. Sweet bourbon, corny, yeah, a lot of the corn, bourbon, sweetness. But it is... A heavy, little different. Heavy corn, though. It's almost eighty yeah. percent corn. Yeah, it is. It is a very, very heavy corn mash bill. Ethanol is coming through a little, just a touch. It's not crazy. I think we're ninety-four percent or proof. Like the Booker's, I get the peanuts. Yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't smell all that different than like proof down Booker's. A little bit of Booker's cinnamon, just, a little the, bit of the peanut. Ethanol just, just yeah, crushes yeah. you. This just smells like corn, kind of that sweet corn, the ethanol. I just get a lot of peanuts on the taste. After it's kind of the aftertaste, though. Any kind of a fruity note from the sherry or the wine, maybe? I'm not really getting that, honestly. Uh, I mean, first first sip is more. I'm honestly, curious it's, how long it's, it's been put bourbon. in there, though. Yeah, I don't know. I, it doesn't really get into how long is it's been. It's just in a hot minute, the, like a couple months, right. or you know, is it six to six to nine months or a year? I think they're on to something. I think if they left it in yeah, a little longer. Have a bigger impact. Yep, much bigger impact. Yeah, four, four plus one, four plus two, something along those lines. Yeah, it really smells a lot just like bean bourbon. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's the peanut, there's the little bit of a cinnamon, not much oak coming off of that. There's a sweetness to it, like a sweet corn type note. Now this one, I don't know what the... I'd be curious, just a small cube. It's 94. It's not going to wash it out. No, it's not going to wash it out, but I'd be curious if it open anything else up. Maybe. 
I'm just surprised there's not. I have a bottle of this, and I've had it. I've had two pours out of it, but I don't remember it being very heavy on the peanut. Mm. I just remember it being more sweet. So my knock is going to be I don't feel like there's enough of an impact on, from the sherry. Like to take the extra time to take a whiskey out of one barrel, move it into a different barrel, then re-blend it together. Like you want an impact from that. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like there's enough impact for the extra work. <laughs> no. I, think I have a feeling yeah. it probably stayed in less than six months. Yeah. They, I think that, yeah, more time in those finishing barrels would change the flavor profile a touch more, or maybe bourbon's just too strong as a starting whis uh, like whiskey base. It gets a very strong Well, like we talked before profile. the show, I, I was expecting this to be along the line of burning chair. Right. And I'd have to go back, and because they do clearly state, I think, the, the lengths that it's in those. Oh, okay. So I'd be curious, because that's what I was expecting to be along the lines of that. And it's not. I think it's good. I think it's it's very easy drinker. It's uh, I think it's just a watered down version of yeah Booker's. It's Booker's. But I, we, we like Booker's. It's Booker's mellowed down, and maybe like the edges are shaved off by the secondary barreling. Mm -hmm. Like it's not aggressive on anything. It's it's just like everything's a little just muted down, softer. It's definitely muted because I mean, Booker's is. Just high octane, yeah. high octane. One twenty six, one twenty seven. Peanuts, like that. It, everything just cinnamon. <clears throat> yeah, everything's you. coming aggressively. And I think that Booker's is one of those that if you just drop the small cube, yeah, mellows, melt it down just a just a skosh, skosh. It'd be it'd be perfect. Well, the only kicker I will say that the the kicker is is you know most of the Booker's is eighty ninety bucks for that hundred and twenty some odd proof. True, this is thirty. Three, where we got it. Yeah, 33 to 35 MSRP, somewhere in that range, mid 30s. I think for what you pay for it, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I would buy it again. I do have my, you know, like I mentioned before, my cousin of Cincinnati. This is one of his group. This is one of their their new faves. He yeah. Turned, he turned me on to it. Um, but again, I think for the price, I don't think it's overpriced by any means. No, no, it's it's bright. 92 proof, at least four year old bourbon. 30 some odd dollars? Yeah, that's all day long. <clears throat> but if you're going to melt it like that, then I would kick up the closer to the Booker's. I keep saying 92, 94. 94. 94 proof. It's 94. <laughs> I would kick it up a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Keep the proof higher? Higher. Well, I. With the swoop. If you're trying to melt it down just a little bit, you're trying to get some. They're trying to sweeten it up a little bit with that. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I wonder if you go too high, it's just going to totally overpower the finishing. So maybe you need to go a little lower to bring more of the finished product. This is when like, I think the Booker's thought comes in. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. this, a little bit of that. <laughs> Stir it all together. Yeah, see, what it, see where, we're, we got the where first, we're at. We got the first, first quarter release. I mean, you could do that. That could that might be what that becomes is is more of. I mean, a, I think they're onto something. I, I think it's like we said, it just needs to stay in the cherry and wine a little bit longer, longer to pick up more of those sweeter notes. Because mm -hmm. right now, that peanut from the beam is yep. just overpowering. I think what they were trying and to the get. sweet corn. I mean, that, yep. that corn <clears throat> sweetness is is coming through super strong. We'll dial the corn back a little bit too. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's seventy seven percent. What are you going to add? I mean, more rye is going to, I think, totally twist the flavor the wrong direction. They really don't do a lot of wheats in mm. beam, to my knowledge. They're, they're, I don't think they have a lot of weeded whiskeys. I like the fact that they're experimenting. Mm. I think that's good for all of us. Uh, the more they do these little experiments, the more we get to try various different finishes and, well, and maybe the, something cool the comes. The knowledge they have from a yeah, Kentucky the bourbon them, and yeah. a Japanese whiskey yeah. trying to play around. Yeah, they've got the the knowledge to play around. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And I hope they continue to because I'm be curious to see what they come out with. Yeah, I, and I wonder if they're what, it, what Boston, right? The Boston batch talked about that was the distillery where they do a lot of their experimental stuff. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if it based out of the Boston distillery. Well, I mean, for them to keep that well, I mean, that's it's bourbon, so they can't play around with the, the finishes, the bookers. No, not unless they want to mm, not yeah, call I it. Bourbon. I don't think they're going to mess with the Booker's lineup. They'll come up with another line. 
Legion could be that line. Yeah, Legion. I I wonder. That's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if this is a dip the toe in the pool and see what the response is. People start to like it. You get some feedback from, you know. You know what? Probably what's going to happen is is they probably heard the feedback with the bookers. It's a heavy peanut. It's just high octane. Let's mute it a little bit. Yeah. Let's bring it down. Try some finishes. See what people. Because not everyone wants 125, 135 Absolutely. proof. Well, I think some of these bigger distilleries now. I mean, now it. I mean, it's not now, but it has been for the last ten years. The bourbon market has yeah. just skyrocketed. Yep. Why not play around? See what you come up with. Give that a taste now. See if you pick up more. Maybe fruit candy like sweetness i just got like a whole lot of mm, i don't know I, I can't place what that sweetness is but it's changed a little bit it's not as heavy on the peanut yeah it dropped off a little bit mm -hmm. yeah it's going someplace i like it it's going someplace i don't know overall i think i like the fact that they're experimenting i like the fact that centauri and beam you know hey not only do they own, you know, Centauri owns Beam. Play nice together. Let's play. Let's <laughs> yeah. play nice together. Let's actually, you know, share some of the knowledge and the processes. You know, Centauri's been doing Japanese whiskey for I don't know how long. And, and you know, Beam's been around for, what is it, two something, 200 and some odd years. Mm -hmm. So there's probably, you know, distilling lineage of three to 350 yep. years so here. They've got the knowledge. Let's play. Yeah. I, I think these are the right people to be playing. Yeah, I'm curious to see if the, the Legion, like what's that, that could be that line. The, yeah, it could become a whole thing. Yeah, an experimental line. I think that would be really. Any insiders out there, give it. Yeah. Hook us up. Yeah. If you have a, in, any inside knowledge of, for, you know, work for Jim Beam or, or know some things that are popping, I really think this, that could end up being a fun experimental line for Jim Beam of using this new label yep hope you enjoyed our review of this this bottle i mean it's a long like you said a long line of bookers but you know i think uh i'm agree with you i think there's more to come yeah out of this line uh, I... but suspicions <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed it again we'd always encourage you to hit the like button at the bottom of the screen while you're down there if you could subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get notified leave us a comment what have you you know have you tried it what do you think are you perturbed about the wording on it by keep saying bourbon, but it's not really bourbon because it's finished. <laughs> uh, and uh, shout out to Jack O'Malley, I believe, who yeah. actually uh, commented on one of our posts, previous episodes and asked if, asked if we had this and we should give it a review. So thank you. We need more of those. Yes. Keep them coming. Yes. Keep them coming. Well, we appreciate you joining and we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.